Good morning. Good morning, everybody. The date is uh, Tuesday, the 19th of December. So that means we're officially 20 days into the recovery. This is exclusive. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up And I'm here at work, I'm just enjoying my morning coffee And I thought I'd bring the camera up I am getting a few requests uh, on my previous videos to continue these going The truth is guys, the truth is that Once I realised that things weren't going completely smoothly I complete, I, you know, I felt sick inside. Um, I didn't want to watch my previous vlogs. I didn't want to, you know, make any more. Um, I pretty much just got frozen in time for a period of about a week there where I was just sick with worry. I was depressed. I was crying a lot. Um, and, and there was no need. All right, there was no need. I didn't, what I didn't do is ring my surgeon. I went to a fucking emergency department, see, saw doctors there, different ones, and that's just not the way you want to do it. You want to be round your surgeon. You don't want, like, if I had to say anything, guys, if you did have to have your surgery interstate or in another city or something, at least stay there for a week. All right, stay there for a week. Get a couple of dressings changed before you leave, and, you know, everything should be fine. If there's complications, the surgeon can deal with them. I left the Gold Coast three days after my surgery, so that's not long enough. That was my mistake. Anyways, guys, we're 20 days in. I am extremely happy to report that the swelling and the bruising is slowly, slowly going down. Like the surgeon said, um, you know, slowly but surely, I've just got to be patient and that's what I'm doing. I will show you guys in another clip. I'm not going to do it right now. I'm at work, so it's probably not appropriate. But um, you can probably see, you know, there's still like a point. There is still a point. Um, underneath the nipple, which reminds me a lot of what it looked like before But in this case, it's not a gland. It's blood and Slowly but surely the blood will be absorbed back into my body and I shall get a really nice result now the way I see it um, It's it's actually it's quite strange because Looking at it. Um, I, I actually oh well shit. I was meant to tell you guys. I took the stitches out yesterday so that was, I did that myself, um, I've never sweated so much in my life, I was fucking, it was like playing a game of Operation, I was trying to be steady with my hands, I was trying to get it out, anyways guys, shed a tiny little bit of blood, but I got them out, so the stitches are out, and there's just a couple of cuts, so actually, you know what, I'm going to show you guys right now, okay, so, I mean, honestly guys, it still looks, it still looks pretty bad, but it's improving. this is where we're at this is still swollen as hell I mean this is this basically around here is a big pocket of blood and the same on the other side so if anything uh, you know the lines down the side of the peck have come in a lot more this swelling was way up here as well it was probably more so like all the way along there so it's slowly sort of coming down into a point on either side and eventually I would say it's probably just going to you know, be smaller and smaller and smaller, and then eventually it'll go to nothing, and the nipple will start pointing downwards, which is what's going to happen because of the shape of my chest. As the swelling all goes away, this is really going to shape up, and fuck, I, I, I don't know the final result, all right? But I'm confident. Like, like I said, the stitches are out, the cuts are healing, and hey, what else can I do? So, optimistic, positive, for a 110% result, it's just going to take a little bit longer. So, in <clears throat> so anyways, I've told you guys about my stitches, I've shown you guys what it looks like, that's pretty much it, until next time. So, I'm not changing any bandages now, I'm not going to see any doctors, I am literally just taking it easy and waiting for it to heal completely and then I'm gonna be a happy man I still haven't gone in the gym I probably could to be honest I probably could start gripping things now um, the pain is not there like the the, the the pec muscle does not feel compromised anymore it feels pretty much fine it's just 
like obviously with the skin being stretched through that blood clot it's it's a little bit of pressure and I don't really want to compromise the the cuts especially because the stitches are out um, and another thing I want to say is that I, I firmly believe that the fact that the blood has been behind the cuts the whole time has you know uh, it hasn't let them heal as fast as what they probably could have so you know I've it hasn't gone smoothly guys but reality is it's not even three weeks post-surgery so I'm not expecting any miracles. Anyways guys, like I said, optimistic for a 110% result. I'll see you guys in the next one. Anyone out there who's thinking about getting a surgery, do it. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not fully uh, recovered or through it yet, but you know, the things that I have gone through, if I do get a good result, it's completely worth it. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hold me